Okay, boppers, we're back. Caesar salad for the masses. All right, we're just gonna go through a quick uh, how to make Caesar salad. I don't know how much I'm gonna be talking. Maybe I'll be talking a lot. Show you the steps for an easy Caesar salad dressing. I'm not gonna show you how to do the lettuce and all that fun stuff, because you can do that on your own. Of course, you know you use romaine. Be careful, there's been recalls in the last couple of years, so make sure you get some good romaine. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work with the, just gonna do a quick garlic clove here. I just made two slices right across here. We're gonna mince our garlic right here. But be careful with this. We're gonna actually actually use the, we're gonna use the back side of this knife over here. And kind of working with the camera on the side. Maybe you can't see what I'm doing. Let's do this. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just, like I'm chopping it, but using the back side of the knife. You can see how that comes out. We're gonna do that some more. Right over here. This is just one garlic clove right here. If you're making a small little salad for yourself, this should be enough. And that's what we're doing with the garlic. Learned this in school in another lifetime. What we'll do is we'll mince it. And all we're doing is going back and forth. Be very careful when you're doing this. Finger on the back side of the knife. Let me see if I can get it. A bit more center screen there for you. All right, we're just going back and forth. And you can see all the juices coming out of the garlic. That's what we want. We want this thing to be a paste rather than a chop. Kind of like that. I'm gonna do the same thing with the anchovies. Got a couple of anchovies right here. I'm actually gonna put some cuts in it. Turn it, chop it this way. And we can go ahead and mince this together as well. You can see how both are just becoming a paste. That's pretty much all it takes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the side for now. Actually, uh, what I'm gonna do is, bring our egg yolks in here. All right, uh, let's center that right there. Just for now, I'll just go ahead and add in what I got with the anchovies and the garlic. Just pop that in there. Before we start whipping up the eggs, what I like to do is put this back on the side. I have to actually squeeze the lemon in there. So we know how to do lemons, right? To get the juice out. Go ahead and cut your lemons. all going in the same place. So let's squeeze our lemons. Make sure no seeds go inside. Oops. Try that again. So obviously, I got uh, I got three egg yolks in here, I'm squeezing in two lemons. I'm making a lot more dressing than what one clove of garlic and one slice of, or two, two pieces of anchovy is gonna do. I just did that for uh, demonstration purposes if you're only doing a small amount. That's the lemon juices in there. You can see what we got going on. It's very liquidy for now. Got a little rag over here, shape of a circle. I'm just gonna grab wire whip, and then we're gonna go to town. This is what it's starting like. You can see that. We're gonna 
incorporate air. So we're not we're not just stirring it around with this. We want air to be incorporated. We want to fluff these eggs up. Of course, you can do it without the lemon juice inside. Makes a mess with it inside. I just get lazy. I just dump it in all one time. It's all going to the same place. But as those of you who have already made Caesar salad you know there's uh, process steps in here. You gotta go. There's some things you can mix up and combine. It's just definitely uh, you gotta get this done first before we start putting everything else in. Really what we're making when we're doing the Caesar salad dressing. We're making mayonnaise. Using egg yolks. And instead of salad oil, of course, we're using olive oil. The little trick I like to do before I put in the olive oil. Now. You can, of course, fast forward. I don't know how much forward you're going to go. Now, if I didn't have the lemon juice inside, this will probably be a lot thicker than what it is right now. It's not going to get as thick as if I did just the egg by itself. But you can see it's getting on um, the air is getting incorporated. There's a lot of air bubbles in here. Eggs are getting whipped up really nicely. So I already did a little side thing of um <laughs> actually did a whole clove of garlic. Another you know, can of anchovies on the side because we're making a lot of dressing today. We'll just go ahead and add this in. I put in a little mini food processor here. Just go ahead and dump that in. That's what it looks like, the anchovies and the garlic all pasted up together. So you notice I'm not talking recipes or amounts because I just eyeball everything. But in this case, we're doing three eggs. We got uh, two lemons, two cans of anchovies, um, big clove of garlic and probably like a clove and a clove and a quarter of garlic. Fresh garlic that was mid and stuff. So we'll go ahead and get this going in. You can see all the air in the egg yolks all foaming up at the top. Go ahead and whip this up some more. And of course when you put the garlic and anchovies inside it gets a lot thicker. Here's a kicker of the garlic and anchovies that was mixed. The oil from the anchovies is in here as well too. It's in with the garlic and the anchovy paste. I had one can on the side. If I don't do that, if I just do it separate, like we did at the beginning, you're doing a small portion. One thing I do before I start putting olive oil inside is I put the anchovy oil inside. It's pretty much olive oil, all that anchovy flavor. Some of you might be like, what? Well, you know what, the anchovies are in there. Let's put everything in there. You can see how thick it's getting right now how dark colored it is. At this point, normally what I'll do is I'll start adding in the other ingredients already. So we'll put in some Tabasco. Again, this is a lot of dressing, so I'll put in a nice amount of Tabasco in there. Get our Worcestershire in. And then, of course, we got our uh, Dijon mustard. this up. Looks like we've been going at it for about 10 minutes right now. Let's 
olive oil. Now this is where it gets tricky. You don't want to dump in all the oil all at one time. You want to keep it going. So for those of you that do other types of egg yolk based sauces, you know if you dump it in, it'll break, it'll separate, and there's ways to save it. But once you get this going and it's going, we just kind of just animal it out and just start mixing it up. It doesn't take much. Just dump that all in. Looks like about it. What I do from here, so I'll go ahead and add in some, put in the black pepper here. Even though we're gonna do it on the salad, I like to put it in the dressing. I'm gonna add some more later on uh, for purposes of shortening this video. We we'll just do that. What I like to do with the dressing, yeah, cheating. Um, Parmesan cheese, grated. I put it in the dressing. You know, of course, if you want to get fancy, you can go grate your own, but we're doing this fast. We're doing this cheap. We're doing this easy. We'll just do that. Got some Parmesan cheese in there. And I don't think I'm missing anything. Again, we're going to put this on the salad, mix it up, croutons. You can lay some anchovies across the top, garnish it with uh, fresh grated Parmesan cheese, but for the quick and easy Caesar salad dressing, there you go. Aloha.